Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is World Site to Islam. Can you introduce yourself, please? Um, wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. My name is Aisha. Um, I'm also known as Emma. Um, I've grown up in and around Croydon and I'm 24 years old. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. So, how long have you been Muslim? Um, I've been a Muslim for six and a half years now, mashallah. Inshallah. So, tell me a bit about what your life was like before you came to Islam. Um, well, my early life was good, mashallah. I had like um, a strong family unit, my mum, my dad and my sister. Um, up until I was about 12, you know, things were good. You know, we had, our, we had a home. We didn't grow up in like a rough um, estate or anything like that. Um, my parents worked hard as well to, you know, provide for us. So, you know, things were quite good up until I was about 12 and then my parents, um, my dad was basically unfaithful and my mum and dad split up and basically from then things just changed a lot really in my life. Um, the family unit suddenly was gone, um, my mum and my sister couldn't get on, they kept arguing over certain things so my sister moved out. Um, my mum was out a lot because she was trying to get over what had happened because she's with my dad for such a long time, she's with him since she was about 18 and they got married at 18 as well so you know like it was a real shock for her that thing you know he'd been unfaithful obviously and you know yeah she was just basically going out a lot and I didn't really have anyone so you know things were different in the money area as well because obviously my mum was on her own and, and you know she didn't have any money she was always moaning about money and you know saying oh I can't afford this anymore you know you'll have to go and do this and so basically I was just on my own and you know obviously in this society when you're about 13 that's the time when you start to go out a bit you know you have your friends and basically I just started getting into s just silly things like you know robbing and graffitiing you know shoplifting just drinking and smoking I started smoking weed a lot and just general like all those kind of things really all the things that aren't good for you you know to be doing um, and then up until 16 really like, that was just my life for those sort of three years three to four years it was quite you know just all over the place I should have been like studying and <laughs> working hard at school but you know obviously things just take over and you just start to kind of you know do whatever makes you feel happy and when you don't have a purpose in life that is just what you do, you just do things to enjoy yourself all the time and you don't think about the consequences, especially when you're young as well, you don't really think about it, but even though I used to go out and have a good time, I was also really insecure before like I was a Muslim, I used to want to get like surgery and I used to want to like, you know, everything was just all superficial, it was always about how you looked and, and not anything else and obviously that, you know, that side of things is hard as well, like when you don't know your purpose in life, you just think that a woman, you know, as a woman, you just think you have to look good all the time and, you know, you're influenced all the time by society. So, you know, you can get really low days and I'm sure a lot of people watching this who are females will, will connect with that as well. You know, like, if you're Muslim, you'll, you know, you'll, you'll remember that from before. Like, and even if you're not Muslim, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about because obviously, you know, you're expected to do so much in this society as a woman. And that can really bring you down because there's so much demands on you all the time. So really, yeah, my life was just quite, you know, it was a mixture of highs and lows, but the lows were really low because obviously I didn't know my purpose in life. So it's, it's a sad time really when I think about some of, the, some of the times when I felt really, really low, like I wanted to end my life. And I mean, now I can't even comprehend that because I would never, you know what I mean? I'd never think, I don't think like that anymore, but that was how I felt. Like, so I must have been really low to think like that, you know, it was just, it was just kind of low. <laughs> Glad I'm not there anymore. Yeah, like, right. I'm doing so, that. Like, now that you're Muslim, yeah, how has your life that. changed? Well, just obviously positively, really. I mean, I'm just happy now. I'm content. I mean, not content as in like nothing bothers me or you know nothing like that. But I just know what my purpose in life is now. So even when bad things happen or bad things come. I know how to deal with them now because I know that everything is a test from God and you know that keeps me strong because I know that I'm just being tested you know like everyone gets tests in their life and I just feel like you know I'm on the straight path I just feel like I know what I'm doing I know how I have to live my life and it's just nice it's, I feel like I've got the manual now so I know how to work the product properly and to the be and I know how to take care of it as well before you know I wasn't taking care of the product and I didn't know the manual I was just using the product as if like you know 
just trying to use it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know that sounds a weird analogy, but it's just like when you when you get the manual to something, you know how to use it to the best of its ability, and you know what it's what it does as well. You know what it's there for. Do you know what I mean? So that's just how I feel. Like, I just feel you know so positive, and I don't let worldly things annoy me anymore. Like when I see people now who look good, I don't get jealous anymore or anything like that. I just think, you know what, if that's what they enjoy, that's what they enjoy. You know, I am who I am. God made me the way I am and I'm I'm just I'm just pleased, you know, like I'm happy for everything that he gives me. So it's just made me so much you know, so much more humble and grateful just for things. You just it just generally makes you a better person really. It just generally makes you a better person and obviously you just know your purpose as well. Which is beautiful, so alhamdulillah. <laughs> so what advice then would you give to the youths out on the streets? Well, obviously, you know, I used I grew up in and around Croydon and you know, I was always sort of in and out of South London because I had friends, you know, in South London and um obviously everyone's sort of seen what's been happening sort of over the past well, to be honest it's been happening for a while but it's got quite bad over the past sort of five years, all the knife crime and the gun crime. But I mean, just uh, regardless of that as well, I just advise people in general just to try and think for themselves because I just think a lot of the time young people don't think for themselves. They're always just thinking about what their friends are doing or what other people are doing in society or what that rap star's doing or what that pop star's doing. Just, just like try and forget about people sometimes and think about yourself and think about what you're doing what you're doing with your life, where you want it to go, you know, because like a lot of the time silly things happen because people don't think enough, they just don't think and I just think people need to really just, just you know, wise up, <laughs> you know, there used to be a show called Wise Up, I think people need to wise up and just start thinking mm -hmm. about what they are doing, what are they doing every day, you know, like obviously as a Muslim I will definitely advise people to look into Islam because it's the fastest growing religion there's Muslims in every country and you know I obviously I would advise them to look into it because it's you know it's what I follow it's what I think is the truth so obviously I'm gonna say to look into it but just in general just seek knowledge just try not to sort of you know believe what everyone says all the time read some more books try and turn off your TV just just educate yourself because education does open doors like it might not open the door to the job you want or something but it will still make you a better person because you'll just, you'll just know more like, there's just so many people in our society who just don't know anything about, about the world and I just find that really sad because I know what it's like to be like that and I know what it's like to be the way I am now and it's so much better to just know more like, about everything and just to be humbler as well you know because you can't carry on being a bad boy or a bad girl or whatever you want to be forever you know things in your life are going to change you know and you need to just you need to just see that you know you need to just start thinking about what is what what your life is is like and how you want it to be and things like that. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah. We're going to wrap it up there, okay, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi.